Oh, there you are. Welcome to the Movie Review Show. My name's Brendan McLaughlin. This is a new show in which I um, view and review um, various student film projects. I'm really excited about it. So uh, I'm going to watch this movie now, and uh, then I'm going to tell you what I think. This is Oliver. What's your last name? I don't know. White. White. This is Oliver White. He made the movie about apples. Apples to apples. I like the title. Um, um, well, you know, I just watched it, and one of the first things I thought was, you know, it was a little slow. And um, I guess my first question would be, uh, why, why, why is it so slow? Uh, it is slow. I, I slowed it down from the original version because I wanted to make it um, more uh, in the mood of the music. And I think that adds to the comedic element, which hopefully okay. you um, it was a little slow. I mean, okay, I guess my next question would be, um, why apples? Um, there are a lot of a lot of fruits, citrus, and um, you know, I thought maybe it could have benefited from a more citrus fruit at one point. But why apple? Is there something biblical in that? I know in the the story of Genesis, Eve bites into the apple, and um, what happens after that? I I don't remember. Well, apples, I think, just, uh, you know... No, 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 but what happens next in the book of Genesis? Oh, <laughs> what, <laughs> what happens it? next? Uh, yeah, uh, God unleashes his wrath upon Adam and Eve, so... Okay. They... What's, what's... What's next for you now? You've sort of, you know, you've done the, the, the slow, sort of dry, sort of, uh, really, um, kind of boring, kind of a... <laughs> a low-energy project. What's next now? Where do you go from there? I'd like to move on to the next thing, which is I, I have, I've been working on this uh, movie that takes place in space, uh, where a ship uh, full of a couple of sailors actually uh, ends up exploding. Okay, so if I could interrupt, the challenge there is when you're in space and there's zero gravity, you right. move slower. So right. how do you do that without it being really slow and kind of, like this one, really boring and just kind of loses the viewer's attention? Truth, I think that uh, what's going to have to happen is artificial gravity uh, for, you know, I mean, imaginative purposes. Uh, I don't know if that's going to work. Well, even Lucas, you know, defied some laws of physics because uh, in uh, the first and second Star Wars movies, okay, uh, well, ships make noise in space, which of course isn't possible. But are you Lucas? Is that... My first was Oliver. Are you George Lucas? Is that you? Yeah. you guys should have told me that you know this big shot was coming in. Otherwise, I would have prepared questions in advance or something along those lines. Mm -hmm. Well, I hope you pull it off. Well, thank you very much. Um, I don't think you will. Nor am I sure that it'll be something I'll want to sit through. But uh, I wish you the best. Hey, that's good enough for me. Enjoy. Thank you.